guys, me, Ho Supersonal. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I've got. I've opened up the rest of the DC uh, Multiverse Justice League figures. You've already seen Wonder Woman in a previous review, so I'm going to not use Wonder Woman in this video. However, I will bring her back uh, for some diorama shots at the end of the video. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on the remainder of the Justice League figures that we've yet to open, that are all on my desk right now. And I'm not sure if you can see from there, but I have also built the uh, Builder fig there as well. So I'm really looking forward to the movie, guys. It's looking really cool. I wish they'd have held off from the Superman merchandise, now that we kind of know he's going to be in it. You know, there was that suspense of, oh, he died in the last film. We knew he was going to come back, but... I think the suspense would have been a little bit more nicer if they'd have allowed it to be more, you know, give us a bit more suspense about the whole Superman coming back, you know, and I think that could have been played a little bit better, because obviously in the comic book sometimes, you know, there's an occasion where he came back as like the dark Superman, um, I'm not too up on my Superman comics, but he did come back as like a darker Superman at one point, right, so it would have been cool to play on the idea of which ones are going to come back as, and but, you know, they've jumped straight into the deep end. So while we're talking about him, let's take a look at him. So I'm loving the fact that in the multiverse range, just like in the basic range, we have we have on cloth capes now, not vinyl, which is great. Uh, Superman's looking really good. Um, a few paint app problems on this one, but I'm cool with it. Um, I'll show you those in just a moment. But while we've got him, let's look at articulation. So the arms do lift up, out and rotate, and there is a bicep rotation as well as a hinge rotation at the top. Uh, with obviously bends up and down as well. The rotation at the bicep, a nice long extension on the arm, and the hands do swivel as well, completely 180. So, pretty cool figure. No ab crunch on Superman. Um, however, his legs do lift out pretty far, and he does have a single hinged knee on this one. Uh, there is a, a thigh break as well, so you can rotate him at the thigh a little bit more. And the feet, I've just got the basic extension, no swivel pivot. So not a bad figure. Obviously the multiverse range in the DC line is still quite a basic figure. Um, you start getting more articulation and more things when you start moving on to the designer range and the um, essential range and things like that. I have to look at the boxes for the names because they call them differently. <coughs> Unlike Marvel, who just have the Legends you know, sort of line, uh, DC have a few different variation lines. Um, so looking at the S logo, as you can see there is a break at the top there which I'm not too fond of, I'm not sure why that is. I think it's just the way the S comes in at the end but it makes it look like it breaks and it just looks weird. So I'm not too fond of that. But all in all it's a really nice sculpt. Um, it doesn't look like Mark Cavill too much. But again, it's okay. Not a bad suit, it's an improvement on the previous ones. Preferring the new metallic looking suit rather than a plain blue. Uh, so yeah, all in all, not a bad fig. Now we are coming to the Flash. Now he's covered in like these little white lines and things all over his. I think that's meant to symbolise the sort of lightning effects in the trailer. It's sort of like, it's like a lightning effect when he appears and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, articulation on this figure, there's a few different pieces. We have a ball joint for the head on this one. Uh, same sort of articulation in the arms. Nothing different there. But this one does have an ab crunch, so you can crunch him back. I haven't been able to activate a crunch forward though, which is a bit of a shame, but he can crunch back a little bit. There is a swivel at the waist, um, and there's a double hinged knee on Flash as well. So you can get him in a bit more of a dynamic running pose if you've got some, um, what do you call them, you know the uh, clear see-through stands? You could maybe have him in a bit of a running pose. Um, I'm going to try and get him in a decent like action pose and then take a few shots and maybe try and distort them to make it like he's running really quick. So yeah, Flash, not a bad figure. Better than I thought it was going to be, but he's still not my favourite in the line. Then we'll move on to another new figure in the line, it's Cyborg. Now this was one I thought was going to be one of the one figure that I wasn't going to be fond of, but I actually like him, he's quite cool. Um, so he's got very basic articulation, um, similar to that of the Superman, except he does have a forearm swivel point as well um, and that and that's because the forearm uh, pops off and you can pop like a gun here yeah it has like a gun piece that pop that pops on and off so that's pretty cool 
other than that, um, it's a single hinge knee on this character with a thigh brake and a uh, foot pivot. Same articulation in the arms. So yeah, I actually like this figure because of this little accessory component. It's a cool idea. Something a little bit different. So yeah, I'm actually quite fond of that one now. I mean, for display purposes, I will be displaying it with both arms. Ugh. I love the fact that they can, in the trailer, it shows they can hack into anything and stuff like that. I like that idea. It's talking to God, to God, and over the intercom. I'm sorry, do I know you? <laughs> <coughs> Moved on to Aquaman. You know, I can't say anything bad about Aquaman. Jason Momoa is my spirit animal. <laughs> love Jason Momoa a little bit too much. Man Crush Tuesdays. <laughs> so let's have a look at the articulation though. Um, pretty basic articulation. It's quite loose. The figure's quite loose and I do have a floppy arm on this one. Uh, there is a swivel at the waist. Uh, the head can rotate but he's quite limited by the hair piece and the beard piece. Um, he's going to be great just for uh, display though. That's all I pretty much use them for. Uh, the single hinged knee. His knee is pretty flimsy actually looking in comparison to the rest of him under that armour. <laughs> Um, and the feet as well, just have the pivot. Same articulation in the arms as the other figures. So nothing really extra to talk about. However, what I did like about this figure is, you know like most figures that have these like shoulder pads, their arms can only go up so far. Well this is made of a soft vinyl which attaches just behind the hairpiece. So it actually is a lot more um, durable so you can lift the arm up and down and things like that and not have to worry about um, you know catching it or rubbing the metal, you know, rubbing the plastic off onto it. Uh, or even just limiting articulation. It doesn't limit the articulation one iota. So they've done a great, 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 great figure with that one. And of course the sculpt is pretty good for uh, Momoa. <coughs> You'll be able to get an up close personal look at that when we uh, go to the desk cam in a few moments. But we can't go to the desk cam until we've talked about the bat. So the Batman, um, again same sort of articulation. The one thing about his cape is his cape is a bit more vinyl-y than cloth and it rolls up like that at the bottom which makes it look daft. So I might have to get the, the, the iron out and put the iron on it and hopefully not melt it to try and uh, get that a bit more straighter. Um, other than that articulation is the same as the other figures except this guy does have a crunch forward and a crunch back. Um, it's quite a loose ab crunch which I'm not too fond of. That could just be my particular figure. Um, single hinge knee on that figure as well. It seems that Flash is the only one with a double hinge knee. I wonder why that choice was made. Um, there's a break at the thigh on these figures. Same for articulation. But all in all, I like the design of this Batman. I like the goggles and things on him. Slightly different Batman look to one we've ever seen before. Uh, but I'm quite fond of it. I think it looks pretty cool. <coughs> and then, of course, we can't talk about the Just League until we've talked about the villain, and that is Stephen Wolf. Nice big builder figure. He stands quite tall. Um, I'll show you him at the side of a figure when we go to the desk cam. And he comes with his big axe, which just about slots in his hand. Um, he's got an ab crunch as well, so he can crunch quite forward back, but I can't get him to crunch forward. Uh, the head is on a decent looking ball joint, so you can make him look in all directions. The arms as well are pretty decent and have the same articulation that all the figures have, including a break at the forearm as well, a break at the waist. Uh, single hinge knee on these ones, obviously it's a bit of a bigger fig, you don't really need double hinge knee. And uh, the feet as well are nice and sturdy. He stands pretty, pretty stiff, which is good. Um, so yeah, I don't know too much about this villain, it's not one I've ever come across in the comic books before. So if anyone can enlighten me a little bit on where to read up on this guy, that'd be awesome. But yeah, all in all a great figure. <coughs> it could be because I don't read just his lead comic books really. I'm a bit more into my Batman than than uh, the others. So let me get these into some sort of order here. Let's get Batman in the middle there as the leader. And then we can uh, yeah get a close personal look at the sculpts and uh, show you guys firsthand how awesome these figures are. Okay guys, we're starting with Henry Cavill's Superman. Looking pretty nice. The paint apps I was talking about just happen to be on the um, joints. 
as you see there's the white coming through on the blue and that, that little red fleck on the S makes it look like it's just a bit odd I'm not, not fond of that S um, other than that though the figure is pretty immaculate and you can't really say much bad about it but yeah it's okay Flash again I thought I was going to be disappointed with this figure but I'm actually quite surprised by it um, it's got the most articulation out of the entire range having the double engine knee it beats the others out um, even has the ab crunch like Batman I wonder why the crunches are only backwards and not forwards on these figures. It's interesting. But all in all, it's a great figure. So yeah, highly recommend this range, guys. Moving on to the bats. He does look a little bit like, is it Night Owl from the, uh, the the Watchmen? Something like that, the owl. He looks a lot like him in this particular one with the goggles and wings. And the big barreled chest armour. But uh, yeah, Batfleck. It surprised us all in Batman vs Superman, everyone wanted to hate him, but you couldn't when you saw his portrayal of Batman, it was quite gritty, realistic, and um, he looked the part, so you can't go mad at that. I actually quite like Batfleck. But yeah, I'm excited about this movie guys, and I hope you are as well. Moving on to my spirit animal, <laughs> Jason Moa, it looks like him as well, which is pretty good. They've managed to capture that pretty well, I'm liking his big long um, accessory component. <laughs> And uh, yeah, the figure's pretty nice. Shame about the, the little knee hinge being quite flimsy and small in comparison to the rest of the figure. But all in all, a great figure. And then finally, Cyborg, guys. Looking pretty slick. Um, his chest is a little bit more barreled than I thought he was going to be, and the shoulders look huge. I know he's a cyborg. <coughs> but does it look out of proportion for you guys? And one thing that I wasn't fond of when you stand him like this in front of a camera, you can see the black line at the waist. Which, if you look at the other figures, you can't see it all that well. It's kind of hidden. Whereas that, it seems to stand out a lot. Or is it just me being picky? And again, it comes with a great accessory component. So let's stand. Obviously, Batman's the tallest, I think, of these characters. If I stand him side by side with Steppenwolf, <laughs> you can see the height difference. Stephen Wolf, I mean, these figures are 6.5 inch, I believe. So he must be at least 9 inches tall. He's a good 3 inches on Batman. Again, Stephen Wolf is a nice figure on his own as well. You really can't go wrong with this figure. What do you guys think of this range? Let me know in the comments. Did you enjoy seeing a bigger video showing off the entire range in one video? Or do you prefer your individual reviews? Let me know in the comments below. So guys, what did you think of that review? Did you prefer seeing them all together or did you like did you like when I do individual videos? Let me know in the comments below. If you're new to the channel guys, smash that subscribe button. It would really help us out. Help us keep making awesome videos. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll speak to you again soon. Until next time, may the force be with you. Bye!